the most. Oh, let's see. How can I talk about this fruit that's so worth getting a butt whooping? Hi Donnies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I ask you to please like, share, and subscribe because you're helping this disabled by watching my fables so I don't have to beg you. Now I know you see that title and I'm sure you're wondering, what fruit could be worth a butt whooping? Well, we're gonna get into that, but let me give a little background as usual. As you know, I was raised in LA and um, in LA fruit was everywhere or still is everywhere anyway this was of course in my formative years before I knew what a Christian really meant and um, and I was in a middle-class area where we as kids were free to run around and in, in the streets you know hopscotch play games whatever so on and so forth but you know, as kids, you get into things you're not supposed to. Even if you're a good kid, you still do mischievously things. Is that a word? I don't know, but it's a word today. As I mentioned earlier, everyone in the neighborhood had some form of had some form of a fruit tree. That is a tongue tie, and you know I can't talk anyway. So everyone in the neighborhood had some form of a fruit tree, whether it was lemons, peaches, figs, some other citrus fruits, bananas. Did I say peaches? I don't know, but just say there was a bevy of fruit in the neighborhood and even today there's still a bevy of fruit. So, you know, if you're ever hungry, just say, <laughs> Look for some trees hanging over a fence and you might get something to help you out. At least you'll get some vitamins. Anyway, let's get back into the story. So as I said, we were kids. Now, there was this one particular fruit that wasn't in my backyard. I think we had a lemon tree and a peach tree. I don't know how we had both, but we did. But all the kids in the neighborhood wanted to go to Miss Brown's house because she had the most. Oh, let's see. How can I talk about this fruit that's so worth getting a butt whooping? It's amazing now that this particular fruit is all the rage commercially. You know, they say it's a super fruit and has antioxidants and it's good for your skin and moisturize and has other vitamins to help you. And now you can get it in a bottle. And so as I mentioned, we would hop over the fence to go to Miss Brown's house to get this one particular fruit. And I think Miss Brown was about her 60s. And you know, as kids, we thought she was old and senile, but no, <laughs> she wasn't old and senile. <laughs> she basically told our parents and we got in trouble. And back then, you know, the neighborhood would look out for one another and you could tell on kids to their parents and the kid would get in trouble instead of the parent protecting the kid. You know where I'm going with this, but I digress as usual. I know, enough with the theatrics. So this particular fruit that was worth the butt whooping, that's so delicious and succulent and painstaking to peel, but once you get to it, it's so worth it. It's just so worth every drop. And um, yes, it's worth the butt whooping. <laughs> so of course I am talking about the pomegranate that you know you can go in the store and buy it now. But it's it just tastes so much better when you steal it off of Miss Brown's yard. <laughs> Especially when you're kids. <laughs> But I still love pomegranate juice and I'm glad that, you know, the stores 
sell it now even though it is sky high but it's still worth it and I like it without all the sugar can we just get the plain pomegranate juice that's all I want well this was my quick story basically I don't know what else to talk about these some fillers for the um, holidays and um, I just wanted to share the story. So anyway, Donnies, remember to toast to life. It always makes for a great story. Stay out of neighbors' backyards. Um, could please check out my other content on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell, and I'll see you next week. Bye.